Uh, the other activity I have trialled with them, and again, uh, seen this recommended on a website and by Yvonne who works locally uh, with the school, was this idea of doing a 60 second Shakespeare, uh, which is essentially a summary of a play, and I suppose it could be adapted to a lot of things really, not just in English. Um, and it's a summary exercise where they have to show that they've understood, they can recall the main points of something. And uh, traditionally, they'd have perhaps gone away, done a storyboard, they may have done a flowchart, a mind map diagram, something in their way that shows their understanding of that particular text. And I decided to trial this idea of a 60-second Shakespeare where they film themselves using a mobile phone or whatever tool that they've got to hand. Um, and in 60 seconds, basically, you know, do their own production of the plot. 60-second Shakespeare, can you explain, Andrew, for the benefit of people who've perhaps not been here, what we mean by 60-second Shakespeare? We just uh, analyse the play and get the main points within 60 seconds. OK, main points. That's yeah. perhaps the key things, isn't it? Thank you. Uh, we've got, is it Laura's this morning to watch? Um, Laura, who did you work with Charlotte to do this? Ben. Charlotte and Ben, so there's three of you. Okay. This is the Duke's house. Here's the party, and four happy days we shall be married. Look forward to it, my lord. Lord Theseus, you are needed in the courtroom. Thank you, Lord Theseus. Oh, Lord Theseus, my lord. 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 Lord Use this flower and reverse the spell in Lysander. Make sure he wakes to see Hermia. I will do it, my lord. Hermia, I love you. I love you too, Lysander. Let's get married. <laughs> yes! Lysander and Hermia and Demetrius and Helena marry Theseus and the Hippolytus wedding. Bottom gets turned back into a human, and Titania gets back with Oberon. Now they all live happily ever after. The end. <laughs> well done, folks. <laughs> well, that was lovely. <laughs> right. I have to say, I'm absolutely overwhelmed with the effort that went into that particular production. Two things. First of all, how has that helped to uh, you to understand the plot that goes on in this particular play? Because obviously, as we've just said, we need to do that before we think about the actual scene that we're looking at. What was in that that you felt was quite effective? Alex? Like, in the other ones that we watched, they didn't go into depth about going into the forest. They just, like, said that they were going to the forest, then they left it there. Whereas with watching that one, it actually gives detail of going into the forest then what um, Hellenus actually said to, Demetri um, to Demetrius to tell Demetrius where they'd gone, whereas the other ones didn't do that. And what we actually found was that they said they felt very much involved in that particular production. They felt involved in the main points of the actual text themselves because they were the ones bringing it to life. And I did find particularly a few of the boys who are often far weaker um, than other members of the group were the ones who actually really did a brilliant job of it because I think they just felt rather than it being writing based this was something that they could do and do more effectively and more confidently and they really relished the idea that they could use you know technology in order to do that uh, the other obvious example was it was a very quick summary it was literally in most cases 60 seconds long so we didn't have to spend ages you know going through everybody's different points and how they you know put things together we did evaluate um, the productions that they'd done. Um, some went way over the 60 seconds, but you know, most people commented that that was a positive. It meant that this, these people had put a lot of detail into their production. Um, and that actually showed me, and they understood from that, that what they were doing, if they were able to evaluate someone else's, they were showing their own knowledge of the actual text. And we commented explicitly on that, you know, how, what does this show you can remember? Is there anyone who can remember something that's not in this production and therefore you know, what do they need to do to improve? So I found that to be a really effective tool and I definitely want to use that again. I think there's been a recognition that it's a different way of learning and I think what they do say when they're using computers is that whatever the task they are doing is they're very much aware there will be an audience and that makes it far more realistic for when they go out into the big wide world. 
So I'm obviously keen to push that because that improves their confidence levels, the sophistication of what they do now at this stage. So hopefully, you know, I mean, one of the ultimate tests for them in English will be their independent um, and individual presentation that they do to a group of people, which is something that they have to do. And it's encouraged, obviously, for the top grades for their speaking and listening component of the GCSE. So obviously I want to build on what they're doing now you know, and hopefully we can actually adapt some of the things that they've learned doing this and use that and apply it to something else.